So you want to animate text, maybe like this or like this. Let's teach you how. Let's jump right into it. Let's get into DaVinci Resolve right now. Five, four, three, two, one. So now that you're in DaVinci Resolve, there's actually a lot that you can do in terms of effects in animating text. Um, what we're going to do today is we're just going to do some simple ones. So what we're going to work with is the text plus. I actually uh, grabbed some B-roll. If you guys stick around, I got a little bonus uh, website for you guys that will help you out if you're creating content like me uh, at the end. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this text plus, drag it to where we want it on the screen. Um, I just got a, some B-roll of this woman walking and then another woman walking. Um, and I just matched up the lighting a little bit. Um, but... I was thinking maybe we'll do something for this and we'll make this kind of first we'll edit what it says um, we'll make it say calm and tranquil not sure if that's how you spell tranquil but yeah but uh, what we'll do from here is I'm actually thinking that we can make this um, kind of like fade in. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the shading tab. And we're going to actually be messing around with the opacity. So what we can do is we can make this disappear and we can kind of make it fade in more and more over time the words are calm and tranquil so I'm gonna have it fade into about this maybe like 0.7 and not all the way so basically what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna get to the beginning of our text we're gonna use keyframes so this button over here creates a keyframe so all a keyframe is, is a drawing or a shot that defines the starting and ending points of a smooth transition, in this case, DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, we're going to be playing around with the opacity. Um, you're going to want to get to, in this case, I'm going to make this fade into up until this point. So it's going to start from nothing. It's going to start from zero like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the opacity all the way to zero. You're going to hit this little keyframe over here. That'll start up a keyframe. And then we're going to choose where we want our next keyframe. Um, so usually what I'll do for this, I'll turn off this little snapping tool, this magnet. And I'll drag my clip to just about the end. We're going to reselect our text right here. And then I said we're going to put our opacity on like on the 0 0.709. That's good right now. And then you can see that it's red. So it selected a keyframe, another keyframe for us here. And actually, if you see this arrow right here, you can actually bounce in between the two keyframes in this case. If you had more, you could actually bounce in between multiple. But so, for example, bounce back to the beginning. And then we bounce back to the end where I put that second keyframe and brought up this opacity. So let's play this through and I'll show you how this goes. The first beginning bit is just going to be normal. Let's do about here and you can see the calm and the tranquil start to fade in like I was talking about. Um, so yeah, that's just one little teeny thing that you can... Do with that there's tons of other things you can do with the text I mean if we want if we go back in here and go to the original text I can do something like I did at the beginning of this video um, for example I'm just gonna use the transform tool right here because it's actually a lot easier for me to do um, 
I'm going to go to the beginning of this frame again, and then I can just kind of select the text. It's already selected. And then I can go to settings. I can pull this right off. And then I can hit my position X and Y keyframe. And then at the end of this clip, or no, let's do something different. Let's do the middle. So the middle of this clip, we're going to actually have this. We'll drag this back here. We'll have it kind of come through a path like this and work its way down to the bottom right hand corner, let's say. So you drag it back and then it automatically put another keyframe here. So as you can see, if we play this back now, we'll just play this one clip. We have the calm and tranquil come in. So that's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other things that you can do with this. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could add this to something like zoom or basically anything that has a keyframe and you can do this to anything I mean you can do it to these video clips it doesn't have to be just the text you can actually do it to change the speed but if you guys want to see more of this and video editing um, just let me know in the comments down below and that about wraps it up for today let's get into the bonus I'm not sponsored by these guys in any way but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a bonus for those of you that stuck around. Um, this is where I get a good majority of stock photos and videos for my videos. So for those of you that are just starting out on YouTube, you might benefit from this one. If you go to websites like this, this is a really popular one that I use. You can find a lot on here. I mean, there's so much to go through. I mean, we got dogs, we got rainy days, we got some sort of picture through a window in the city it looks like, to brownies, to the Muppets. So there's just so much on this website that you can go through. I definitely think this will this will help you guys level up your b-roll if you don't have the ability to film certain clips you could definitely steal something from here um, because it's all no no copyright images so yeah hope this helps you guys and as always if you stuck around this far make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I'm everything Rob Pro and I'm out. Peace.